Okay, so we're live. Hello and welcome to the School of Life. My name is Chioma Agunobi, your status quo disruptor. Um, so something funny happened. I'm just going to share like 10 minutes with you guys. I'm in the middle of a shoot, but this happened and it was really funny and a thought came to me. So I thought to share with, with us. Now I was at, anyone who knows me basically knows that I love Agbalumo or what Igbo is called Udara, especially Udara Wanu. I equally love corn a lot, very soft, fresh corn, either boiled or roasted. I love it any day, any time. You can catch me with that. You can, you can actually use it as a bait to get me to do something. So I stopped at my usual place to buy corn, which is just opposite Lagos Business School area. You know, you have like a long line of people who sell corn over there, fresh corn. So I stopped to buy corn. And a whole lot of people were parked, people coming over, buying corn. It was just like a corn fiesta. And while I was there, trust me, I can eat my corn any day, anytime, anywhere, no matter who's watching. So I was there, you know, munching on my corn. And all of a sudden, <laughs> so it was like a question popped up in my head somewhere. Where is your love for Agbalumo? How come you're right now not craving Agbalumo? How come you're right now craving corn and not Agbalumo? I said to myself, okay, maybe because the thought or the fact that I know that Agbalumo is not in season. And right now, maybe no matter how much I crave it, I won't find it to relish. So maybe that's why my entire um, thought process or desire is, is on corn. And so I said to myself, it's just amazing how life is in seasons. It hit me. Life is in seasons. We, our lives, our careers, everything about us is in seasons. If you look at plants, like right now plantain is practically out of season. And sometimes when plantain is back in season, you find it's everywhere. It's really cheap to buy. How life is actually in seasons. And as human beings, as people, we must understand what season of our life we're in. Um, as a nation, we must know what season we are in. And the earlier you understand and you know the season you're in, the better for you. Now, it doesn't just end at knowing what season you're in, what season of your life or what phase of your life you're in, but it's also about knowing what you should be doing at that particular point in time, what you should be doing in the season, right? So when it is corn season, people who need corn for um, a long time when corn isn't in season, what do they usually do? You would buy up a whole lot of corn. You probably would look for a way to pre preserve it. You dry it up and maybe after drying, if you need it for making like cornmeal or for making pap or things like that, they would dry it out, preserve it so that it can be used and you can have it available even when corn is not in season. Where am I driving to? Did I come to lecture you on corn, agbalumo, and no, I didn't. Um, but I'm here to, to pinpoint a few things that hit me, which is when mango is in season, you're likely not gonna find, um, take for instance, orange. So most likely when mango is in season, you won't find orange in season. And so you, if you have the two trees growing side by side, when mango is in season, you'll find everyone under the mango tree trying to pluck a mango. Um, the mango looks like it's right now on the spotlight. The spotlight is on the mango. Everybody wants to be with the mango. Everyone wants to be under the mango. Everyone wants to get a mango and eat, okay? And it looks as if everyone has abandoned the orange. It looks like the orange isn't happening, you know? The orange isn't where to be. So every, all the attention, all the buzz, all the, um, what's it called, the love is directed towards the mango tree and not the orange tree. At that point in time, the orange tree will probably feel dejected, rejected, will feel alone. The orange tree will feel like, oh my goodness, why is this happening to me? Why does everyone hate me? How come no one loves me? And if you look at our lives, whether in our careers or in our personal lives, a lot of us are in that place. 
You are in that place where it looks as though your peers have left you behind. You are in that place where it looks as if you are the orange tree and even possibly your twin sister or your twin brother is the mango tree and everyone is all about the mango tree right now and you look almost as if nothing good can come out of you. Give it two months. Give it three months down the line. Give it four months down the line. Give it a few months down the line. What happens? The table turns around. Then it is no longer mango season. People come to the mango tree. There's nothing there to pluck. Oh, look, the orange tree has fruits. Guess what happens? All the attention, all the buzz, everyone rushes over to the orange tree. And everyone is under the orange tree and the orange tree is the happening tree right now. In essence, it may look like you are not where you need to be or where you should be. It may look like, oh, everything is wrong. But let me let you know this. Life happens in seasons. There are seasons. It may not be your season now, but your season will come. But also note this. When everyone goes, leaves the orange, the mango tree and tree and goes to the orange tree, there's a possibility that the orange tree will go, oh, mango tree, look at me now. I'm the one under the spotlight. Hey, I'm the one who's happening. I'm the one who's buzzing. Can you beat it? Uh, uh, uh. If the orange tree goes that way, I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> what goes around does come around. Life is in circles. Life is in seasons. So in essence, when the orange tree is, when it's all happening, you may be a celebrity and it looks like everyone wants you right now. You, you're you're on, on every brand's list. You're on every organization's list for endorsement. You, everyone wants you on their movie set. Everyone wants you to perform on their, on their stage. And to you, the whole world is like, Seriously, the whole world means nothing to you at this point in time. You can give people trash to eat. You can pull people down. You begin to talk about other people like they don't matter. You begin to even diss those people who paved the way for you in that industry where you are. My darling, you are not just on the path to the top. You're on the path back down to the bottom. So in essence, when it is now the orange season, the orange season should enjoy its season with humility. The orange season should enjoy the spotlight with understanding. The understanding that this is not because, maybe because I walked for it. No. The orange season needs to understand that while all of this is happening around me, I must be thankful. I must be full of gratitude. I must be willing to share. Because, and I should not ridicule the mango tree. Because while it is my season today, while everyone wants to be my friend today because I am fruiting, tomorrow I may not have all these fruits and it will be the mango season again. So know this, life is in seasons. You must learn to know what season or what phase of life you are in and have tried to understand. Also, in the place of prayer, again, understand what you should be doing at this point in time, in this phase of life, in this season. Understanding what to do in the season is also what helps you to create that longevity would I say, um, helps you to outlive the regular season phase. So, like, you have farms and rain, rains don't come all the time. But farmers have learned to create the irrigation system. So when there's no rain, they can take water, pump water from the reservoir, have pipes that channel the water to the farm so that the farm is constantly watered even during the dry season. So you must equally understand what you should do when you have abundance of rain 
you must understand what to do and therefore you must know how and for me I, i'd call it the irrigation system you must know how to channel that water even when it's not rain season like i said i'm just gonna share 10 minutes with you and i'll be out of here back to set so this this were the thoughts that hit me while i was enjoying my corn which i am not sharing with you but and so i thought to share but i i I'd encourage us to know what works for you in 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 what in what phase for every phase or for every season of your life you need to know what works i was speaking to one of my mentees and she said to me she said Shema, um i feel because she, she she has a baby and her baby is just about two three plus and she has another baby so she feels this is a young lady who is very vibrant very vivacious very hard working very industrious she's always all over the place doing a lot for herself but newly wedded and so babies are running in you know what i mean and so she's at that phase where she feels like and this happens to a whole lot of us especially young moms you feel oh my goodness there's so much pull on you uh everyone wants baby wants me husband wants me responsibilities here and there and because she had the first baby and the second baby came right after she couldn't get back to work as she had wanted to and so she was in a place where she was feeling a little bit um what's the word you know when you feel like you're not living life to the maximum when you feel like you're not giving what you have got to give and she wants to get back to work she wants to put the new baby in the crutch she wants to do this she wants to do that and i said to her my darling life is in phases you are you are you're in your nesting phase right now you are in that phase a bird when a bird wants to lay its eggs what does it do it goes and it prepares the nest and it lays the egg even in search of food it hardly ever goes very far from the nest it looks for food around and make sure it comes back and sits on its eggs so you are in that nesting period you're in that nesting phase why you may feel like all oh, your friends who are single have moved ahead of you and have gone way ahead of you and you feel like you're being left behind no you are not being left behind understand that this is the season of life where you are and these are the things you should be doing so if you don't understand the season of life you're in and you don't know what you should be doing in that season that particular season of life you will feel frustrated you will feel like you're not doing enough even if you are because raising for her yeah. raising children for her raising children is an important part of <laughs> virtually for it's an important part of her life right and if if you don't raise your children right you fail at that as well so this is that phase to do that so what i'm saying in essence is life is in seasons know your season know what you should be doing and know equally what you can do to help like i said when you when it's corn season you can buy corn dry it up preserve it and have corn even when it's not corn season so you need to also know those things you can do and should do to keep you watered even through the dry season all right to keep you there even when it is not that season of time in your life i don't know i don't know <laughs> but i just hope that all of this is helping someone i just hope that this message is it because it hit me and i was like oh my goodness very true and so i thought to share with you as well so i don't know what phase of of life you're in but feel free to do share share your thoughts with me let me know what season you're in let me know what you think we should be doing at different seasons and different phases of our lives even for businesses your business might be at a particular um might be might be in a particular season right so you you start up a business and you just want everything to go no 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 hold on there are certain things you need to do and you ju- you don't do them once you keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it till you finally get the results you want consistency is very important so you want to knock a nail to into the wall so you can hang maybe a picture frame what you you don't just take the nail and knock once and it goes in no you probably need to knock it like 3 4 5 times you you must remain you know at it and keep doing it till the nail is sturdy 
gets into the wall, is firm and can carry what you want to hang on it. So what am I saying in essence? Whether in business, in your personal lives, whatever it is you, you, you are set out to do, know your time, know your season, know what you need to do. And what you need to do may be something you need to keep, keep at. You may need to continue doing it as often as, as um, necessary to be able to get the result you want. I, I, I don't know, did that, did that come across well? Fantastic. I just, I just sense that you, I just sense that you got it. So, but I'd really like to hear from you. I'd really like to get your input on this. Now, please make sure that you, you leave your thoughts in the comment section. Also, um, remember that you can follow me on Instagram, Chioma Agunobi1 on Instagram. Um, the same for Twitter, then LinkedIn, Chema Agunobi, YouTube, Chema Agunobi. I have a whole lot of videos on YouTube and Instagram, and I would love for you to look at them. I'd also love to hear what your thoughts are, you know, on these topics as well. But for me, I'm so excited because of the three-day um, live series seminar workshop that we have coming up starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's going to be one full hour each day so one hour Thursday one hour Friday and one hour Saturday maybe on Saturday we may just have a small party how would you like to have a DJ here playing music and we can dance and celebrate our life we've just got one life to live so let's let's make the best of it right that's that's me like I said I work hard and I play hard as well so we'll have tomorrow Thursday we'll have um, Friday and Saturday Please make sure you don't miss out on it. It'll be streamed on all the platforms as well, as this is streaming live as well on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. So it'll be streamed as well. You don't want to miss it, all right? And be ready to, to have, uh, ha, you know, I'm actually just beginning to get a hang of some of this tech, technology, you know. Um, I don't know what I'd say. I'm not very uh, tech savvy. This is me being very honest. I really don't... Uh, lie a lot so this is me being very honest um i'm not very tech savvy so i'm beginning to get a hand of a grasp of some of these things and as i do i will get to share with you guys and we'll have more access to communicating with you all right remember i love you i'm sure i'm going to be your status school disruptor and i'll see you tomorrow 6 p.m bye bye